Well, this is kind of fun. Hey, this is Brendan from BikeShacks.com. Today I'm going to show you a little hack I did on a bike trailer. Made the hitch a little bit better, a little bit of a hitch upgrade. Well, this is the old style hitch. It's a clamp type, you can see that here. And it used to fit right inside here, like that. You know, clamp onto your bike, and that's what you use to haul the trailer around. But this clamp is really hard to turn to get it tight enough on the bike so it didn't slip all around. In fact, it did slip on me before. You can see that right here. It even dug into the aluminum of the clamp jaw, which really sucked. That was my um, disc brake that dug in right there. Um, so I was pretty eager to be done with this style of clamp. And this is just a, you know, pretty generic trailer, probably something from somebody got from Walmart or something. Uh, definitely not a name brand, I don't think. I found these parts online at biketrailershop.com. This tongue, which is uh, urethane, and I had to cut I had to cut right here on the on the steel tubing, so that this um, didn't this stuck out a little farther, or else it wouldn't fit on the hitch quite right. But that's um, basically the the gist of the hitch. I mean, this this pin goes through uh, the hitch on the bike. I'll show you that in a minute, uh, and through this urethane thing, and that's what uh, lets it pivot around freely on on the bike as you're as you're driving around. Uh, so it's a pretty simple upgrade for a really bomb-proof hitch. So here are the two styles of hitch. This one you can see is a quick release. I don't know if you can see this, but right here uh, we had to do a little bit of grinding and cutting just to get it so it would, wouldn't um, rub up against the eyelet here for the fender. Uh, but this is a standard quick release on my wife's uh, county. And this just uh, fits nice and tight right here. It's all snug up against the frame. And the urethane goes right in here with the pin going through it. I'll show you that in a minute. But here's my bike. Um, still a little bit of a tight fit up against the, uh, the screw for the fender. But this is supposed to spin freely. And for the most part it does, except for that one spot right there which um, doesn't seem to hinder the use much at all. This is actually a skewer that goes all the way through the hub replacing the original skewer that was on here and this hitch just sits out on the end of it allowing you to hook up the trailer. The urethane part goes right in there and you just drop the pin in and connect it on the bottom. This needs to wrap a couple times around the frame and then connect to the D-ring down here. That's it. Pretty bomb proof and it's a great, a great change from what we had before.